Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela and I am a new reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and sometimes Macari. And I will add some links below. I appreciate you coming in. Subscribe if you would like. And this is one of very, my very first videos of an unboxing of jewelry. And so hopefully you will enjoy the video as much as I like watching some of the unboxings from other, uh, other YouTubers. And so let's dive in. I received a lot from Goodwill. This one was from Mississippi. And I paid $36 plus $12 shipping and handling. This was not such a mystery. I thought this was gonna be, it's, it's a Southwest bag. Um, so all the jewelry should kind of have a Southwest theme. And so I was really excited about this. So let's see what we can find out. And I'm new to this, so I know uh, as some of you are new to this too and just learning, so let's, let's get started. And if you have any comments, make them below. I'm just gonna go through these. I'll put them in piles of whether I think that I'll be able to sell them or if I think that I need to put them in a craft um, pile. Okay, so my first item is this bracelet. And I am seeing some scratches on this bracelet. It is definitely wearable, but I don't know your opinion, guys. I feel like this would, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't feel comfortable putting this um, up for um, for sale in my store. So I will put this in a craft pile. That is a bust. So let's take a look at this one. It's kind of a robin. Like, I like the feel of it. It's kind of like got a inside. It's very, I don't even know what it's made of. It's almost like a leather or, I don't know. It's very worn, it's small, but it's Kind of like a copper. I like it. That's a, that's gonna go in the maybe pile. Let's put that over here. This is definitely craft. Let's take a look at this one. This doesn't have a lot of wear on the outside. This is definitely a maybe. It needs to be cleaned up. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Another bracelet. no maker's mark. It wasn't on the other ones either. And this is, this is nice. Maybe I would put like a bracelet lot together. That's a maybe, that's, that's a maybe pile. Maybe, maybe a bracelet. This is like a nice little band. These are like little rhinestones. Let me look. Oh, got my little tool. And if you guys are into jewelry, I need one of these little tools so that you can see. Yeah, those are little rhinestones in there. But if you can see, see how they're dark right there? Those are dead rhinestones. So you, somebody would have to replace them. So I wouldn't feel comfortable selling that. I don't know what's your thoughts on this one. I mean, it's really pretty. It's got a magnetic clasp. I mean, I might wear it myself, but I don't know if I would be comfortable selling it for more than like a couple dollars. Maybe I'll put that up at my, I have, there's a place uh, just north of St. Joe that I have a, um, it's called the Rusty Chandelier and I have a little spot there. I could put a couple dollars on that and put it up there. Or I could go in the craft. So I'm gonna put that in a different little pile. Okay, this one is interesting. It's got all kinds of, oh, let me turn it around. It's got an elephant. It's got a bunch of elephants. Let's see if I can see a maker's mark. When I said I was retired, my eyes shouldn't be as bad as they are. There is no maker's mark on this. Check the, it's definitely magnetic. 
it needs cleaned up, but it's kind of fun. Um, I'm going to clean it. I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. I, I want to know what your guys' thoughts Oh, this is, wow. This is definitely really wavy. It's had better days for sure. Um, I could straighten it out. It's just a little bangle. Not a, not a bangle. It's just nice. There's no maker's mark on it, though. I could go in a bracelet. I, I began like a little bracelet pile or something. I don't know. Okay, here's another bracelet. I'll get through these bracelets that I'm coming up with. This is really dirty. It'd be nice if it wasn't so dirty. And no maker's mark. I'm putting that in the craft pile. I wouldn't sell that. Ooh, this one's... This one is giving me no maker's mark. But I like it. And it's, you know, it's just one that you could just like throw on and that's nice. And it's well, it's well made. It's definitely, definitely one I can sell. All right, here's another bracelet. Ooh, now that is pretty. There's no maker's mark. It's got the insides kind of. Now, as I get better at these, I'm going to be able to say, ooh, this looks like a J. Crew or a Loft. I'm sure I'm going to get so much better. I watch these so often. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's definitely one sellable. <laughs> all right, here's another bracelet. I'm getting through all these bracelets. It's tangled. It's dirty on the inside. It's kind of dirty on the outside, but it's so cute. This one, I think I'm gonna put up at the Rusty Sandalier as well. Again, that's just north of St. Joe in Missouri. Okay, that one's good. Oh, oh, this is pretty. Any maker's mark on this one? Yes, Chico's. You guys see that? That's really nice. Okay. What do we got here? Ooh, this is very light. It's a very light one. It's got all kinds of fun designs on it. Let's see. I don't know if you can see it. Made in Germany. That one's all right. I think... I think, I don't think I would sell this one. I don't know. I, I think I need to do more research on this one. It's really, it's really clean. I think I need to do more research on that one. I'm going to put that one outside. Okay. Let's see. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in this one. There's like 37 items in this bag. Oh, oh here's another bracelet. Ooh, this is itty bitty. Uh, I do have my little sizer coming for my bracelets. It needs to be maybe cleaned. That could be Howlite or Turquoise. I'd have to look at that definitely a lot closer. Um, I don't know. Yeah, and then, then these beads, they're really nice. That's, I don't see any maker's mark on this, though. Okay. They're definitely twisted up, aren't they? Let's see. Here we go. Oh, I need to get one of those fancy things. I think I have one downstairs, too. That's pretty. Again, I don't think this is turquoise. I feel like this is halite, dyed halite, but I'll do more research on that and make sure it's tested. Um, they said that there's about, you know, most of what you get when you think you're getting turquoise is, is actually halite, which I thought was kind of interesting as I'm doing research on this. Okay, so yeah. 
that clasp is a little, let me make sure. The clasp is a little dirty, but I think this is actually pretty nice. So I think we'll go put that over there. That might be something that is sellable. This is pretty. It's interesting. And look how they, all these little beads kind of turn around. And then the ones in the middle turn around too. They're cold to the touch. The instructor in me is like, what does that mean? Yeah, it needs to be cleaned. I don't see makers. Oh, wait. see any maker's mark. No. It definitely needs to be cleaned. If I can clean that up and make it look nice, um, it might be something that's maybe a I don't know if I'd sell that or not. I'm gonna put that in the craft box. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like a choker. It went, it's got like a memory wire in it. It's got some nice beads. Oh, it does have like a little chain. I don't know what this little symbol means. I like the stone. Oh, it's very cold. So that's a real stone. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Oh, got my little tester. Let's just test this. Oh, it's testing. Here, can you see that? Definitely a real stone. Is it tansenite? I don't know. It's testing right into the tansenite and aqua, but it's also... Okay, I'm going to have to do research. I'm not as... But it's definitely not glass. It's definitely a stone. So, and I like I said, I'm still learning, so I will... Um, definitely, that's a good one. But I do like my little, it's just, I have to do a little more learning. So if you are watching this, that's awesome. If you have any suggestions. Okay, oh, look at this one. This is pretty. Oh, that's very cold. Again, that could be halite. It could be. The unevenness of this makes me want to think it is turquoise. It says I was reading, but it could be highlight too. So, but it looks, oh, that's really pretty. What do you guys think? I'll definitely be listing that. Missing similar. Oh, it's very long. It doesn't. It doesn't have like a closure, so some it's obviously lost its closure, so that would obviously have to be disclosed. But it's it may have been like handmade, maybe I don't know. It doesn't have obviously a maker's mark. Those are really nice. It's not, it's not glass, it's definitely a stone, so. Okay, let's look at this one. All these fun beads. No, I don't think these, I feel like these are just beads. That's, these are wood.
These are testing, these are testing glass. I don't feel like they're glass though. I feel like they're just things. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Oh, look at this. That's really pretty. Again, it's either gonna be turquoise or halide. I'm gonna have to look. It could be turquoise. It's very pretty. It's a oh, got another fancy one. It's like just under six. It's not going to fit my finger. It goes on a little bit tinier finger, but it's very pretty. This one is adjustable. So if you had to adjust it, it's definitely bigger. It's a lot darker. Let's see what size this is. Oh, yeah. So it's all the way down here, but it's adjustable. pair of earrings. Oh, and this matches. Oh, so I guess we do have a set. So if I could clean this up, that would be nice. It's definitely going to have to be cleaned up though. Oh, here's another ring. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. And one of the things I learned is to kind of check those prongs. If you can, if you can pull up the prongs with your fingers, they know it's obviously a little bit less quality, and I can, so, but it's a pretty ring. Um, it looks like it's just either just like plastic or acrylic. But I think this, I have like a little thing, and my rings go so well up at the rusty chandelier. This one, probably I could put like a few dollars on. And look at the details here. Oh, look, and it's adjustable. Oh, look at these. These are fancy. Oh, wow. Look at these. These are gorgeous. Very nice condition, too. I, I feel like they would go with something that we've already looked at. So I'm going to have to, like, see which one it went with. I'm not going to be as good as some of the, <laughs> the other people that um, do the videos yet because I just started. So, but, man, those are really pretty. Okay, definitely going to take a look at those. Oh, this is fun. Again, they're going to be turquoise or halite. Uh, let's see if there's a maker's mark. Always check for a maker's mark. I don't see one yet. And I don't think I got any s silver to check in this lot either. Check this one. No, it's magnetic. But it's a really pretty necklace. It's kind of got some detail. It's got the gold. And then it comes up with the silver. So it's got some fun details to it. It needs to be cleaned. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, look what we got. It's like more bracelets. Oh, this is fun. Look at this. We've got one, two, three. It's like a set of three bracelets. I'll make sure that there's... Oh yeah, it's a layer, it's layer, right? I'll have to check and make sure on the wear because I'm not gonna list anything that has too much wear. That's fun. And it's got, oh, it's got the memory stretch. Oh, and it's got, and it's really still very well. Yeah, so this would be a really good set. Ooh, look at 
this. I love bling. It's kind of got like a thing going there. I don't know what. I'll have to cut that off. Let's see. This has a little bit of stretch issue. I think it's gonna end up having to go into craft, but whoever gets this for craft, um, they'll have a fun little piece. Yeah. Okay, so this, I found a little piece to this. I think I could start a box that's like repair. But look at these, these are gorgeous. So, what's your thoughts on that? Like, find it or starting a box for repair. So, like, somebody might love these earrings. Or they could actually even take this and create, do a little pendant. Well, I don't know. I don't think I'd use it for a pendant, but like little seed beads. Very pretty. So, these need repaired. What we got going here? Okay. So, definitely needs cleaned. But isn't that fun? It's got, yeah, there's no missing stones or anything. A little statement piece for sure. Oh, it's got a little maker's mark. Let's see what it says. Oh, New York. New York and Company. I like that the necklace feels really nice. And what do we got here? Oh, that's pretty. It's a nice little, oop, I'm going to turn it around. Oh, nice big crystal there. Oh, look how shiny that is. Very pretty. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to look at that close. Let me see if I can... I have to look at that closer. Too bad it's not Swarovski. That's so pretty. Gosh, that's, that crystal is gorgeous. And look how it sparkles. And like some crystals, it's like you just know they're. Yeah. Look at that. That is really nice. Okay. It's, oh, and it's very, not, well, it's only, it's a, it's only 16 inches. So it's a, it's a very, you know, it's more like a bib kind of necklace. Okay. Oh, this one's really long. Oh, goodness. It is, could be doubled up for sure. Let's see. Uh, 21, so 42. Look at that. That's cool. That's really nice. Just probably gold-plated. No maker's mark. I don't see one anyway. I'd have to go around each link. Sometimes they put them on one of the links, but there's really not like an opening or... Oh, here we go. Oh, no. There's not really an opening for this link, so... I don't see a maker's mark. I'll have to look closer on that, so... Okay, so this is a good one. I think I would... I think this one would be listable. And I feel like this one... The way the stone is so gorgeous would be listable. I like this one. It's kind of funky. Um, I'm going to look at the crystals closer, though. Um, this one's fun. I think I'll list that one. I've got quite a few of the necklaces that I do like. I'd have to do research on this one because i have no idea so like pricing i'm still not the best on pricing so I, I think i definitely have to work on that piece of it but like i said i'm just getting started so you know leave a comment below let me know what you think um if you have any suggestions obviously i i take constructive feedback for sure as like i said i'm a retired educator so um i appreciate you guys um stopping in and watching my video. You guys have a great day. Again, um, I have some links in my bio to check out and uh, have a great day.